Time is 8.08. .08. Want to get over to meteorologist Jeff Forgeron? He has a lot to tell you about this morning. Yeah, there's a high wind warning posted up and down the coast this morning, so I want to take you out there to our Shiloh Inns camera in Seaside. You know it's going to be a windy day when they take down the American flag at the turnaround there. Uh, it tends to whip around like crazy during the really windy days, so glad they did that. We're only experiencing wind gusts up to 21 miles per hour now. It's generally coming from east off to the west, but later today it's going to be coming out of the south, and that's when it's really going to be cranking up. Let's bring you inland to our Mary Hill Tasting Room and Bistro camera along the Vancouver waterfront, getting a sustained wind out there at 11 miles per hour coming out of the Columbia River Gorge, and you can see it's kind of driving the water on the top of the Columbia River toward the webcam here. And it's also uh, featuring some spotty uh, raindrops. We do have rain showers falling around the metro area in other parts of Northwest Oregon and Southwest Washington. It becomes a little bit more light and scattered down toward the central Willamette Valley, although it looks like one moderate shower is moving right into Salem at this time. Up and down the coast, I'm not seeing too many showers, but what's going on offshore is a little bit more impressive with a broken line of thunderstorms developing. And we're going to be keeping a close eye on that because the wind profile will be conducive for road rotating storm so we could see some water spouts if not some short-lived tornadoes moving on shore. We also have some moderate to heavy rain moving through Pendleton and up and down uh, the Blue Mountains it looks like and that's stretching off to the southeast toward Baker City. A water view though shows this rapidly strengthening low pressure system when it undergoes a rapid strengthening period we call that bombogenesis and that's why many of you have heard bomb cyclone being described uh, as this low pressure system and because it's just offshore of us off to the west it's drawing the wind from the east to the west but as it drifts up to the north, that's when the wind is going to become a bit more problematic along the coast. It looks like, I, I, by the way, I wouldn't focus necessarily on these numbers right here, but at times later this afternoon and evening, wind gusts along the coast could be in the ballpark of 50 to 65 miles per hour. Uh, the wind will be coming from south to north, drawing into that low pressure system, and then inland will experience wind gusts between 30 to 40 miles per hour. Doesn't sound like it's going to be super impressive, but we do have some weak branches and trees out there, uh, both being stressed from the uh, summertime heat and uh, drought and also from the ice storms that we dealt with in February. So spotty power outages are possible inland. We have a better chance for power outages though along the coast. Today we'll feature a mix of scattered showers and also thunderstorms, not just along the coast but inland and we could see some funnel clouds or maybe short-lived uh, isolated tornadoes inland but a better chance for that is expected along the coast. And this evening I think we're going to see a bit of a lull in the rain activity but uh, there's enough of a storm threat for the Storm Prediction Center to issue a marginal risk for severe thunderstorms. Again, we could see some short-lived spin-up tornadoes or water spouts over the water. Meanwhile, uh, we'll also have heavy rain out there, maybe some lightning, and up to quarter-size hail with the strongest uh, cells. The seven-day forecast for the metro area shows us uh, dealing with the stormy weather pattern in the next couple of days. Scattered showers, isolated thunderstorms, highs in the mid to upper 50s. It's going to turn windy later this afternoon. I think the wind carries into Monday, but it will gradually relax throughout the day, certainly by Tuesday, the wind will let up a bit. Tuesday into Wednesday, though, will feature some more rainy weather. We'll deal with a few showers Thursday, and it looks like Friday starts off dry, but a weak atmospheric river may bring more moisture in Friday afternoon through Saturday, at least during the morning hours. Highs actually climb into the low to mid 60s Thursday, Friday. They're back into the 50s Saturday, and it's possible we'll be drying out around Halloween. Deb, back to you.